Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got a couple of submissions back from uh, CGC. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look and see what we got here. We're gonna save this. I think this is just one book. We're gonna save this one for last. So kind of anxious to see what we got on that one. But uh, yeah, this group here, I think I might've sent in three books. Uh, the rest are customers, so spoiler alert. If you haven't got your books yet, don't watch this video, so. But uh, let's see what we've got in here. I really don't remember what I sent, but you know what? Let's just start right here. Right. Ah, okay, I remember this one now. Okay, so this is Amazing Spider-Man 365. Uh, first appearance of that Spider-Man 2099. It's got that little reflector cover there, so let's see what he got on that one. Nine four, okay. That's pretty nice. Got that hologram cover. And a nine four on that one. We'll be excited about that. All right, now this is one I sent in. Now this this book here, we picked up a collection. And uh, the books in that collection wasn't wasn't that great. Maybe some dollar books, but this was mixed in uh, amongst all those books, and it was like, man, Batman Beyond number one, and it's a newsstand. That's crazy, and it didn't look too bad. So, so I went ahead and did a little bit of dry cleaning on it, pressed it. Um, this is the first comic book appearance of uh, Terry McGinnis. And see what we got? Nine six, man, that's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we got that collection in. Um, there's a lot of dollar books, a lot of fillers, but that was mixed in all of that and <laughs> got a really good grade on that one. Man, it'd been cool if it got a nine eight. Nice. Oh yeah, I remember this one here. Okay. So this is Green Lantern number 25. I did send this one in. It looked really good too, so. Hoping we get a good grade here. This is the, this is the variant cover. Uh, first appearance of LaFreeze. Laura Freeze, I'm sorry. Yep. And see what we got. 9 4. Ooh. Hmm. And it didn't look that bad either. Just kind of sent it in as is. Yeah, it looks pretty good to be, be a 9 4, but this first appearance of uh, Laura Freeze there, so. Set those down. Hmm, well, I guess that's the way it goes sometimes. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, the next, this one's the customers here. All right, so this is a convention edition, uh, spawn number one. Uh, looks like San Diego Comic Con 2023 exclusive there. Uh, let's see what he got on it. He got a 9 8. Wow, that's, that's really nice. Yeah, it looks good. He's gonna be happy about that one. All right, let's see what else we got here. Okay, here's another spawn. So yeah, same, yeah, same customer. Um, looks like spawn 301, this is the second printing. The Ross sketch cover. That's really nice too. Let's see what he got, nine eight. Wow, that's good. That's a good grade there. Yeah, he's, he's definitely going to be super excited. Uh, hmm. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Another, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I remember this one. All right, so this is Spider-Man number one. It's the hip-hop variant. Um, really nice cover, too. Put that mild there. See what he got, nine four. Oh man, I was hoping to get a higher grade on that. This is the customers here and I was, we knew it was gonna be in the nines, but we didn't know. Yeah, nine four, dang it. Oh well, man, it's a cool cover. It'd be nice if we got a nine eight, so let's go ahead and set those down. All right, we got three more out of this little box here. Okay, yeah, they, this was this was another one that kind of Spider-Man 299 number one. So that was his first appearance at 365. And then here's his uh, origin here. So yeah, that red foil cover. 
Uh, it's kind of hard to, if you got any scratches or anything on, it's going to be hard to get that out. So, well, I definitely can't get it out, but let's see what he got here. Ah, 9 4, man. Yeah, you can kind of see there's some. Now, this looks like a, a 9 4, so you can kind of see the flaws in it. Oh, yeah, you can definitely see it. So, hey, got 9 4. Can't go wrong with that. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, okay, yep, well, I sent this one in. So we got uh, Stars and Stripe number zero, first appearance of Star Spangled Kid, too, so. There we go, and let's see what we got. Nine, six, oh, man. Okay, hey, nine, six, nine, six, though. But it looked pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, let's look at the greater notes on that, nine, six, okay. Last one. Let's see what this one is. Oh, yep. Yeah. I have this one now. Star Wars number one. Um, there you go. 1977. It looked uh, about a mid grade, maybe above. Let's see what he got. Ah, 6.0. Ah. He was hoping for that seven. I was too, as it looked. Like it could probably hit that seven. I'm trying to see if there's uh, any flaws to it. Maybe right there at the back. Yeah, I can see why I got that seven. You can kind of see it. I mean, the six, sorry. Yeah. yeah, you can see it back here on this corner. So yeah, right up there, kind of see some, some lines there that didn't get pressed out. Hmm. It should have been pressed out. There you go, 6.0. Okay. Well, all right, we got one more book. This, this is one I'm kind of, let's see, move that out of the way. This is one I'm kind of excited about. All right. So we picked up a little uh, 50s collection, 1950s collection. Uh, really cool books. Um, and this one was Mad Number One. It's really cool. So, I don't actually have this one in my personal collection. I do have some other Mad, mag uh, Mad magazines, but I don't have the first one. And this one actually came through the shop, so I was kind of well, pretty cool. So, I'm kind of anxious to see what we got here. Oh boy. All right, here you go. It wasn't in great shape. Um, it was low grade, but still. I mean, this is this, this is what started it all. Mad number one. Let's see what we got. Ah, 3.0, woo! That's cool. I did, was not expecting the 3.0. I was expecting at least a, a one and a half, maybe two. Um, yeah, that's... That is really cool. Wow. It looks good in this uh, case here too. Kind of, it's got a little roll to it. You can see it, um, brittle pages, a lot of foxing and tang on the back, but it's just, I would I didn't even do anything to it. The, the staples are a little rusty, but but it's complete, so yeah, there you go. Uh, was it 1952? That's cool. Had number one, got 3.0, wow. Well, definitely excited about that, that's cool. So, well, that is it, guys. I know we've got some more uh, books sent out, and uh, we have also, we had a Lou Frigno signing here at the shop, and uh, we did send some uh, books out um, the, for Signature Series. And we actually sent an eight by 10 print off as well. So um, hopefully we'll get those back and see what we get. So, but until then, hey guys, we appreciate y'all watching this video and uh, thank you for supporting local. Till then, y'all take it easy, be careful, and we'll see you.